What's up YouTube? Mike here again with another video and today I wanted to do one on the alleged Surface Pro 5. We all know that Microsoft is going to make one. Um, I'm currently rocking the Surface Pro 4 so if you've watched any of my videos you know I've done quite a few on this and I'm actually quite fond of this device but all the latest rumors point to a possible March launch uh, and that will be to align it with the creators update that's coming up for all the Surface devices or there are some other rumors that say probably the spring but to me it would make sense that maybe a late March just so they can showcase the creators update with the Surface Pro 5. The big holdup for the Surface Pro 5 uh, the rumors were that it was because of the KB Lake processor they just didn't have all of the supply that they needed to ship the product so they delayed it and now uh, that should no longer be an issue so hopefully maybe we'll see the March debut so that's really the first rumor is just when are we going to see the Surface Pro 5? I think it'll be late March just to line it up with the creator's update. So moving on to the other rumors and I've got these from various internet sources, uh, DigiTimes and just some of the other ones on the internet. So again, obviously none of these are officially from Microsoft, but uh, I think a lot of these are going to be spot on, but obviously only time will tell when we see this thing actually launch. But the next rumor is obviously going to be the display. Um, all the rumors point to a 4K display, which that would make sense to me. I don't see why they wouldn't do that other than obviously they're going to have a bigger battery or else the battery life is going to suck even more. So that's hopefully going to be one of the major improvements with the Surface Pro 5 is a larger battery or just um, better battery life in general, which when they have a 4K display, something's going to have to give. So um, obviously they're going to have to install a bigger battery somehow. Uh, the next one deals with the stylus itself and the rumors are that the next stylus is going to be rechargeable and it won't just be rechargeable it'll actually be wirelessly uh, rechargeable so if you put it on the side of your surface then it should use it's kind of the conductive charging where you can wirelessly charge the surface pin which will actually be a, a pretty cool addition but honestly i've owned every surface pro model now except for the first one and um, battery life really has never been an issue with these Maybe every six months you'll have to replace the battery in the pen. I've honestly never had to replace one of these batteries, but having the option where it's rechargeable, where you don't have to go hunt and find these weird sized batteries uh, is a bonus. So that's the second rumor. And moving on obviously to the next one is the KB Lake processor. And that's what I kind of mentioned at the beginning. To me, that was why the Surface Pro 5 didn't get released prior to Christmas is because they were waiting on the KB Lake processor. So now that should not be an issue. There should be plenty out there to meet the demand. So the suppliers should have plenty of processors to ship. So obviously I think that is gonna be the next, and I got me a nice notification. It's always good to get those during the video. But the KB Lake processor again, is gonna be an i7. It'll still be a dual core, I guarantee it, but you'll have the option of an i5 or i7, and they'll probably still have the M processors uh, for the least or less expensive models of the surface which brings me to the next one is I think they're gonna have a non pro model as well so there's been some rumors pointing that it'll I don't know if they'll call it the surface 4 uh, because obviously we've had the surface 3 or they'll just call it the surface but I think there'll be a lower end non pro model which will have obviously the fanless design and the core end processor uh, but we'll see but I think they may be releasing more than one model and that's uh, according to DigiTime, so take it for what it's worth. Uh, as far as the storage options, I think it's going to still be aligned with the current setup where you can get uh, 128 gigabytes, probably standard, which will be the i5 model, all the way up to 512. Maybe we'll see a one terabyte. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure the storage options will not change and it'll probably be uh, the same SSD unless they go with the... Uh, the uh, M2 ones to kind of make it as, compete with the new MacBook Pros, which has got insanely fast SSDs. So um, in order to keep up with Mac, if they want to for SSD speeds, they're gonna have to change uh, the kind and type that they're using. So as far as RAM goes, the rumors are saying that the low end model or the standard would be 16 gigabytes, which would be pretty good for an entry level <laughs> model. So uh, you'll get a lot of value there and it's, some rumors say that it can go all the way up to 32 gigabytes. So look between 16 and 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty sweet for entry level and in. And if you can get the 32 gigabytes, even better. Um, I imagine they're gonna price it the same as the current models. Uh, maybe 
a little more expensive, but I think it'll kind of stay on par with the current pricing we see based on the model you get. And like I said, look for possibly two models, the Pro model and just a Surface model. Now, again, still don't know the naming convention if they're gonna call it the Surface 4 or call it the Surface 5 or just call it the Surface. But your guess is as good as mine. But anyways, uh, that was just a quick rumor roundup on the Surface Pro 5. Curious what you guys' thoughts are, what rumors you guys have seen. Um, as far as the I.O., which I didn't mention before I close this, is obviously on the current Surface Pro 4, you've got one USB port, and of course you've got the display port, and it's got a micro USB slot. I think those will remain the same. However, I think they're gonna add at least one USB Type-C. I don't think they'll change the charger though, because then they'll have to redesign the actual Surface dock and some of the peripherals. So it's probably going to have one USB Type-C, but it won't be the one that you use to charge the device. So that was my quick rumor roundup. Of the All right, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, why not hit that like button and help me continue to grow my channel by hitting that subscribe button. When you hit that subscribe button, which there should be one right over here, that gives me motivation. And motivation is fuel for me to continue to make great videos. So if you want to support the channel, Go ahead and hit that button. And if you want to check out a couple more great videos, there should be a link to one over here and over here. Thanks.